Welcome back Border Masters, SCL Matt here, and today, taking it easy, not gonna play through any levels or anything, just gonna wander around the map for a bit. It, it, it's a big place, I, I wanna get a better idea of where everything is, and see if I can find any secrets. Um, so, sit back, relax, enjoy, there will be a little commentary here and there, but probably mostly me wandering around. So here is is the main area where you start most of the time uh your entrance to the skylanders academy here's where you can unlock your imaginate chest you can also do that from the main menu so you don't really need this spot right here but it, it, it's a nice visual um i won't talk too much about that in case you haven't made it all the way through uh the game yet here you have the card check you can play some creation clash whenever you want Got the band amusement park over there. Um, this is where we fly over. Actually, I think we have a couple places we can fly to. So we're gonna run over here quick. Cause I don't, actually I don't know if I've been over here. Yeah, this looks like fun. Yeah, there we go. Sensei Light Realm Discovery. I was looking for that one. So there's the Sensei Life Realm. I've now dis discovered all 10 of them. I haven't played any of them yet, but uh, I know where they all are. All right. So we have a bomb here. I'm not sure where that goes. I need to find a door to blow up first. Oh, there it is. All right. So yeah, we have our Magic Realm over here. Found that one before. Shelmont Shores, that was a level we played through. Um, let's see what else we got down here. There's our cannon to get back. Door we gotta blow up. How do we get up above there though? That's, oh, here. My water's gonna shoot me up. There we go. So here we got our uh, light realm. I was gonna call it the tech realm, but it's the light realm. Uh, can I get over? Nope. Can't jump over there? Okay. This area is locked. Oh, th th this is going to be one of those like adventure areas that are only unlocked at, at certain times. You have to go talk to, um, well, who, who, who's ever in charge at the time and uh, they'll occasionally unlock two to three different adventure levels that you can choose from and you can go pick one of them but at other times they're just going to be locked um that one in particular i don't know if i've actually played yet so we're gonna run up here check out what's in this cave down here hopefully we're speedy enough there we go check out what's inside some bad guys. Take care of them real quick. Oh, and, and here's something. I've already found a couple of these. Uh, once we finish them off. There we go. Um, off to the left here. I saw it. We have this book. And there's some. Th there's a couple of these books. I don't know how many there are. But um, you can collect them. And then it'll tell you that to return them to the academy to in it, specifically to the library in the academy um uh, hugo is looking for him some books got thrown around thrown around during the explosion and so i need to return them this I, i've already found like three or four of them so this very well could be the last one so we'll fire ourselves back here and this will actually we'll, we'll, we'll jump into the academy quick uh, check that out briefly can sh can show you where to drop off these books which should earn us another chest that we can open right away and get another part So if you've played Skylanders before, this academy setup is, is pretty similar. Things are a little bit different, but a lot of it's the same. So here's Hugo. Don't reward me with a book. I reward you with a reward. 
So we found another book. He's going to give us the chest and we'll open it right away. New headgear. Got some new headgear. Awesome. So if you haven't been here too much, haven't explored, straight back here is your uh, hall of selfies or whatever they're calling it. And there, there's a frame for each battle class. And so you find the legendary frame. And the legendary frame then... If you, if you put up the legendary frame and then you put a picture of that battle class in it, it is going to uh, boost the stats of that of any character you play with that battle type. And it, it's, it's just a little boost, but it'll help. It'll help. And it, it's a nice little, a nice little bonus, another, another reason to collect all those things instead of just for the sake of being collectibles. Off to the right here, we have Buzz and the battle arena, or his, I don't know, is it really battle arena? Pull the lever, he throws out a dummy. You can beat him up. There. Test out your fighting skills a bit. Um, down here then we have our usual Persephone. But once again, Persephone is completely optional in this game. You don't have to visit her if you don't want to. You can upgrade your powers directly from the menu. So you don't have to worry about that. Um, one other area I want to show off then, because you might not notice it right away. This little pad over here, it's a teleporter. Kind of takes you to a little secret area where it, this is what it looks like. It's, it's a movie theater where you can take a look at all of the cutscenes from the game. And then the Sensei Shrine... Um, videos I don't know what what to call them and then I believe they also have the uh, so yeah some intros here for bad guys um, but then I think we also get to the soul gems there we go the soul gems for all the characters as well so basically all the cutscenes and all the little videos that get get shown off um, in in the game at different points you, you, and the credits too uh you, you can find all of that stuff right here in the theater it's a little bit hidden a little bit out of the way but it's there and then back here there's also one building you can enter if you're looking for this there's actually a troll radio hidden back here i've already activated it but i think that's the only thing that was actually back here so if you're looking for another troll radio um, that's going to unlock some parts for you as well so theater troll radio i believe that's all that's back here then you grab this teleporter it'll take you right back to the main part of the academy here pretty cool Alright, so we wandered down that path before, so I think we'll wander down this path for a while now. We got our fire elemental realm there. We have... what do we have down here? Oh, Cradle Creation. That's actually the very first level in the game. So you probably played that by now. Here we have all of our uh, adventure pack levels. So we have the Thumpin' Wump Islands. You, you, you got your racing down here as well. Ooh, there's a rat. I've been told if you follow these rats around, they, they dig holes, and you can fall in and find stuff. Yeah. So if you, if you see rats running around, follow them. Follow them until they dig a hole and fall down that hole. So here, this one's going to give us... Ooh, an ultimate part even. New slinger weapon. I like it. So th th they're just little holes in the ground, but there's usually something down here that you can collect. So then we'll head back up, and uh, you can't fall down here again. But um, that that rat was there. Follow him around, and there you go, get a collectible. Um, then up top here, we have our other adventure pack levels. This is the one that hasn't been released yet, Enchanted Elven Forest. And over here is the Griffin Park Observatory. 
So those are all nicely in one place there. Let's see, down here then we have our water realm. Uh, we'll stay down here for a minute. Oh yeah, here's, here's another one of those adventure. Um, they're, they're like mini adventures that unlock from time to time. That's about all that's, oh wait, was there another path up here? No, no, we got all those. All right, so that's kind of that leg of the map. Um, what else haven't we? Oh, here, take our elevator up. There's another island way up here. Gotta get some of this stuff. This is Sky Fortress, that was another level. Way anyway, out here, we got our air realm. Got the battleship. That was a level. Um, if we drop down a little bit, we can get the dark realm. And there's something to blow up there. I'm pretty sure I've opened that one before, though. Drop down another level. I think there's pro oh, I think there was a book here that we you just saw me collect that other book. I think there's another book there. And then drop down again. We'll get us back to where we started. So a couple islands up there to watch. Um, let's see. So we can head off this direction now. We got this cannon here that can shoot us out to a couple islands. That actually, yeah, sure. Let's do that now. So can go to Vortex Island, Stormy Plateau. Or overshoot island we'll go left to right here so stormy plateau where's this one all right so stormy plateau we've already explored we were just here has the life and the magic realms and that type of thing so we'll shoot ourselves back here it's nice to know that they took the time to name all of these little islands all right so that was Thorny Plateau. So Vortex Island, is this just the main part of the island? Okay, <laughs> yeah. Just a different part of this place where we were. So shoot us straight back. Then Overshoot Island, I think. Hey, where am I going? Overshoot Island is this still connected. Yeah, so y you can go to three different areas, but it's all essentially the same. Ooh, a rat! Found a rat! I found a rat! 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 Where are you going? Where are you going? Come back here! Dirty stinking rat! Dig a hole. There we go. I will follow you into your hole, and we just get some gold down here. Not quite as lucky as last time with the chest, but. All right. Now we can go back to our main island. So yeah, the, the rats, as far as I know, are just completely random. They, they pop up at random times, they dig random holes, and they give you random items. It, it is what it is. I kind of like it. So here we have our Earth Realm. Uh, this is another one of those adventures that's locked most of the time. Scholarville, that's one of the game levels. And let's see, we drop down here. Find our undead, ooh, there's a book up there. Should go get that. Probably have to drop down on it from above. Um, so this is another one of the uh, adventure levels I was talking about. Um, let me see here. Want to go? Oh, here. Okay, we'll grab these quick here. Mushroom River is one of the main levels in the campaign, as is Fizzland. So we'll run back up here quick. I'm so glad that characters run at like double or triple speed in the map. Nobody's super slow. All right, so if we jump off this edge, we can collect our book here. 
wonder if that's all the books. I, I feel, It feels like that found a lot of books already. All right, so what if, can we follow this waterfall? Nope. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Just stick to the rivers and the streams that you're used to. All right, um, we haven't checked out this bridge. See, there's that, that, uh, th there's that world underneath there. H how do you, how do you get there? I wanna know how you get down there. There's stuff down there. There's, there, there's seriously stuff to collect. All right, um, this is another one of the adventure levels. Here we have the golden arcade. That's a main game level. That's uh, the Baron ship. We'll take that in a minute. Here we have the battle arena. This is actually a pretty good place to level up your characters if you're working on that. Uh, it, it's just three short rounds, but it gives you a bunch of experience. So it's a, it, it's a pretty nice place. And then down here we have our tech realm. And off secretly behind these clouds. Well, I'll tell you, th th there used to be a book here. So if you're looking for another book, right down here in the clouds, they're trying to hide it from you, but I found it. I found it. All right, so back here, I was gonna say we will take the Baron ship. It's an awesome shark ship here. Such a happy shark flying through the sky. All right, so we have a few things up here. Uh, we have a little door down there you can open up here. I think this is another level that we had. Yeah, so this, this is going to be one of the adventures, and then this is one of the Dragon Temple is the level. Dragon Temple is actually where we unlock these wings. Then we can fly over here, collect some stuff, and fly. No, I want to fly over here. Here. Are you gonna make me fly over there? Have to go over here? Fine. I wanted to fly to that big island, see what was there. But we'll take this chest instead. Won't say no to unlocking another part. Alright, so then we have to drop down. See where that drops us. So it's kind of back where we started. Right by the ship. We could take that back up if we wanted. Actually, I will, because I wanted to show you uh, the other way down from there. If you don't have the dragon wings or anything yet, um, there is another way down. It's right over here with this vine. You can run down this vine over to this island. Yeah. Oh, well, there's dragon wings over here, too. I, I think, though, yeah, I think you can just jump down from here if you wanted. But I want to see where these dragon wings can take me I haven't explored this in a while I think I've been here before but yeah I've been here before so I'm gonna go to this island take another pair of wings over to this island if you can you want to drop down on the tower here because right at the top of the tower I believe there is an experience ball level up ball Lots of experience. Have never I don't know how often those regenerate because I'm pretty sure I've collected that experience orb a couple of times now. So <laughs> I, I kind of wonder if that if that regenerates every time, like you come out of a level or something. Or I don't know how that works. So yeah, I think that's actually I, the the more I play in here, the more I get used to the map. The 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 smaller it seems, but it's still way bigger than any other. Uh, any other level or any other area we've seen before. Um, my only question though is seriously, how how do I get down there? Like I, I, I see there's a bomb down there. There's stuff running around down there. I need to get down, but it won't like let me jump off any of these points. Uh, I want to get down there. 
Hmm. That is a great question. But that's basically all I wanted to show you. I I, I want to try to cover all the areas here, and I think I got most of them. I I wasn't actually keeping track, but I think we had hit all ten elemental sensei realms. You can find out where those are. Got the academy brief tour there. A lot of stuff going on, but like I said, it's a big map. It, it, it's it's it, it's part of what makes this game great too. I think it, is that we have this nice open world area, and there's random things going on with the rats. There's um, multiple levels you can visit from all over. There's we still have the academy. There's the, the, there's the random. Uh, random encounters that the the surprise attacks i didn't even show you one of those this time actually here that'll be a good way to finish this off um i saw some of them running around before but if you ever see a bad guy just kind of meandering around the level they they, they won't actually actively attack you but if you attack them it will trigger uh, a surprise attack or as I like to call him a random encounter and here here we go this guy it's bad guy that's not a Skylander that's not an NPC that's a bad guy so if I hit him surprise attack. we'll get a surprise attack here and it's a little battle that you can work on outside of any level which is awesome you gain experience and at the end of it you're actually gonna get a chest and you get a chest every time so you're getting experience, you're getting a chest, you don't have to play a level. It, they're relatively quick. And it, it's a nice way to, I think, uh, test out your Skylanders uh, and any like new attacks that you might have picked up or something like that. It's, it's a great way to test them out without having to go into a level, but you get to try it out against live enemies, not just like the dummy that buzz throws out there for you the, these enemies are real they they can hurt you they can kill you they they attack they move around but it's 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 something you're gonna see in the game at some point you're, you'll see some of these bad guys so for the sky there you go and ooh, surprise attacks i love them i love them absolutely love them it's a little thing sometimes but i I can't say enough good things about it. So there you go. Get a chest. Legs. Get some new parts. Set part. Yeah. Set part even. <laughs> then it'll take you right back out. And here you are back on the map. Right where you left off. So. I think that is a pretty good overview there. Um of everything I've found so far here in the map. So we'll get back to our mainland here. And I think we'll call it a day. So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around. Please subscribe, like the video, all that stuff. And I will see you next time.